coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. All right, now here's the other way. Now this is to the split. Again, remember some of the blocking scheme on that. Uh, he's gonna crack the overhang guy. He's gonna reach to this guy. Okay, he should try to get to this guy. I think our tackle gets to him and he ends up going to here and we go to here. And so uh, as long as we get these guys covered right here, one, two, and three, okay, and then this guy will get with the with their guard. He's still got a six-yard gain. Now, I mean, that's pretty perfect right there, guys. Watch our tackle. Our tackle reaches all the way to this kid here. Okay, and this guy goes here, and so we're freed up. That guy's still looking at the fullback here. Our split in gets this kid. Now, now we have two guys that are free. Now, he's going to work his way up, and then our guard's going to work his way up, guys. And a horse collar. Okay, is it so? Is it choppy? I got you. I'll, I'll, is it better when I slow it down? Somebody give me a message out there. Is it better when I slow it down? Okay, no, I'll do it like that. I'll just do it piece by piece. I'll do it piece by piece on that, guys. Thanks, guys. Again, here we go. Tackle reaches that guy or split in blocks that guy. Everybody's working their way up. Now the split in let off his guy, which I don't know if you guys, I, I wish our split ins blocked better. Okay, same thing again. See where he's handing it? There's that guy right here we're not even blocking. Here's the guy we're not even blocking. He did a little, he did a little light. All right, here we go again. See if he cracks good. Tackle reaches that kid. He actually does a pretty good job there. Split in is going to block this guy. Now the 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 halfback is going to go up to this to the corner. Oh. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys got better blockers than we do on, on the, our split ends. And then our he does a great job here. The guy even tries to cut him. Because of that, he he busts it and goes for he goes for 80. All right, here we go again later in the game. See, all he's got to do is get his hands on that guy right here. See, he doesn't do a very good job. You guys all, I mean, I mean, just get your hands on the kid. That wears me out, man. And our, I think our, our halfback here does a good job. He sees that guy engaging, he goes to the next level. And so I mean, that's part of it. And if you can get that, that's even better.
Maybe and here's an end zone copy of it. Again, he's handed over the guard. Look, you know, that guy there. Look at that guy there. He's sitting there waiting. All right, here we go. Again, our <laughs> it's embarrassing. Our split end misses this guy. So now the halfback has to kind of run through his shoulder. That's a major block, guys. And so that's some of the things you got to work with uh, if your split ends are not very good, which apparently is the case at Lake Hamilton High School. All he's got to do is get his hands on that guy. And then you see one thing I want to show her. Watch her quarterback after he hands it. He sets up for the pass. He's going to set up for the pass. This is a team that they had nine Division One players on it. Nine. All right, here we go. Again, tackles reaching. All right, so we messed up here. Now I'm going to show you something. Right off the bat, he should have known that he couldn't get them, and he should have told our halfback, "Hey, you got to get the overhand guy now because he can't can't crack them because he'd be blocking them in the back." And so he's got a – and later on in the game, you'll see we run it, and then he does – they do change their blocking. But even that, that kid runs there. He runs into our guard right there. And look, we get the corner now. Now you get a flag there, but he gets a 20-yard run, which it shouldn't have been whatever on that, but – Again, you can see there, again, if he, if he sees that guy that he can't get to him, then we need this guy to go right here and go ahead and just hook him. He, we still want him to work up to the linebacker knowing that he's in man and he'll run with them. I'm just telling you, he'll run with them. Now, some people have a scheme where he just comes and then we'll have to block him man if we see that scheme. So our halfback should have got him right there. There it is, and you're out the gate. Okay. I got to – okay, somebody said maybe just play it at regular speed. I got you. <clears throat> and somebody, somebody asked a question, too. Do we run the jet sweep out of the gun? Yeah, we do. And we try to do the same blocking scheme, uh, but it's just a little different. We do like the jet, jet out, of the, out of the gun. You know, and I'm going to say this too, you know, when I've got a more athletic quarterback, then I'll do some more gun stuff. This kid here was a really good kid that can manage the offense. But, he, you know, you put him in the gun, he was no threat to run it. And he was an average passer. Uh, but we did. We ran it out of gun too and, and, and a similar blocking scheme on it. Uh, it's, it's still really good. And then we had a kid a couple of years ago that ran the ball really well. And so we ran the jet sweep quite a bit and we let him do power read stuff with the guy. And so um, – um, so I know we did that kind of stuff too. So I wanted you to know to do that too, but yeah, we, we do a lot of that stuff too. Uh, and, 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 and this year we will, I got a quarterback that can throw it and run a little bit. So we'll be in the gun some just knowing that, uh, we can do that. The only bad thing about it is guys, if you go in the gun, it takes away your fullback. And so, um, it takes away the inside stuff unless you, the quarterback can run. And that's why I said, if you don't have a running quarterback, then you're kind of wasting it. But if you have a running quarterback, then you can do the, 
you can hand it or fake it and keep it and run and stuff like that. So we do do that too. So, um, um, if that's, that's one of the questions, which I agree on, that's what we do. And there he is there. And that's one, this team had nine division one kids and they were all pretty fast. This one, this one I was talking about cutting up field. He should have kept the path. Because now our split in gets to the – we actually put our tight end there because our split ends wouldn't block. And he blocks that guy. Now our halfback blocks this guy's shoulder, not really good. For some reason, our guard, you know, he's thinking he's coming, he's not. And our, our halfback, he saw the lane. So Let me show you the end zone copy because he what he sees is a little lane there, which we don't want to we don't want to really do. We think we're wasting it there. So he sees a little lane, but saying all that, he still gets eight nine yards, guys. Now we don't want to do that. We still want to run to the outside. Uh, uh, so I just want you guys to know that too. So we need to really we talk about that with him all the time too. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data, and you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.